Okay. <laughs> All right, I believe we are live. Yes, we are live. <sighs> All right, can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you all the other good things that are important in life? And that's what's most important. Rob's hand, yes, there we go, so you can see that. And can you hear me? And uh, I'm just trying to maneuver this a little bit so I can control it a little bit better. And there we go, okay. Come on. Ugh, hate when this thing does that. There we go, all right, good. All right, so here's the thing. I have thought long and hard about this particular project. And, oh, somebody breaking out a Who reference. Nice, very nice. So um, one of the things that I wanted to do was do something different. Now, I've seen a ton of great, great um, videos done of uh, Kingdom um, not videos, but actually um, uh, some, some some really good paintings and stuff like that. You know, I checked out some pictures to get some ideas. And I was trying to think, to the guy that just wants to play the game, what is the easiest way to do this? And, and, and be able to show it where anybody can do that. And that's what I want to do with these particular figures. So I ended up getting another lion, and I'm... I'm testing a few things so we're going to see how this turns out but um what i've done so far is i primed everything gray and then i put the base coats because i want to try to fit this into an hour so you guys can really see what's going on so without talking any further and cutting into the hour let's just take a look at some of the things that i've done so far now we've barely done anything to be honest with you so i primed our friend here oh hold on I'm double live streaming that's nice and um, what I've done is as you can see here I just all I did was just paint this white that's all I wanted to do now this whole guy was gray but I went with a Kesla flesh okay and very thin coat very very thin coat let me get my hand in here so it'll adjust there we go very thin coat onto his skin now for his head i used an xv88 for his uh for his hair i really like that color and it's more of a natural blah uh, brown that goes in uh buy four more liars and paint them as voltron <sighs> oh brother man painting the survivors as space marine as ultramarines oh god neutral come on bro so and then this base here, I used this base instead because I liked all the faces on it. So we really kind of want to work it a certain way. Look at Jason trying to be funny. Well, then again, he is funny every day. He looks in a mirror and sees a joke. <laughs> so with her, we've taken and instead of we've gone about the same thing. Okay, now we do have a very thin coat of Kesla flesh, and I am using a base ceramic white along with a foundation white, a little bit of a mixture here. Okay, and all I'm trying to do is just basically, I want coverage. I want to get that gray out, but I don't want to get it out too much. Okay, and uh, I'm using a Zandri dust on these faces because we are going to really get things going here. <clears throat> Arrived late, did you undercoat? Mel? Yes, I did. I undercoated this color. That's why I left the lion the way he is. Now you can see I've, I've taken a little green stuff and, and made a few repairs because some of the pieces don't exactly fit up perfectly, but I wanted to show this. This is going to be a painting 101 at some time. Um, and um, I think it'll it'll come out. All this is is uh, this is the primer, which is the dark gray here. And I just started kind of 
slowly just dry brushing a little bit kind of seeing how the foundation white goes along with the ceramic white until I felt comfortable enough and now we're going to build and we're really going to start messing with this pretty good and 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 get this where we want to be so let's let's play around with him a little bit and we're going to do some dry brushing now we're going to make him lighter but what you're going to see is that I'm going to darken it all up and then come back light again without losing any of the detail and that's the key here now I, I've seen a lot of people where they take and they take these lanterns and they put all that lighting effect if you are a first time first time if you are a first time modeler you're really not going to be able to do that so I'm going to show you something that you guys can do anybody can do anybody can just pick this up and do this and that's the way I'm going to do it now with some of the bigger models I may get a little more fancy schmancy especially with what I've got in mind and then when you know when we start building some of the other guys we'll really start doing things but I want to be able to have this so a beginner can just take and really go to work on this oh of course I used the wrong ceramic point oh there we go so all I want to do is get a good amount on my thing here and if you hear any noises in the background or anything like that like I always tell you you're coming into my home and we just gonna live life around it we don't shut everything off we don't do everything we just keep doing what we do and sometimes it's funny sometimes it's not hello Robert got my dust tactic kit in the mail today from the sale I absolutely love them I'm so happy to hear that Pete thank you so much Simba or Mufasa I think I'm gonna go Mufasa all right so again all I'm going to do and I took I took a bunch of this paint off okay for now and I'm, I'm just trying to find a good balance here and if you can see here all I want to do is just kind of go over that gray but I don't want to take all that gray out just yet just yet and just come over that head look at that just tickling over and a little stronger area where here because we're going to we're going to test this a little bit and his face we're going to paint inside his mouth so we're not worried about that and we're just taking and we're just going to grind this out and just just taking that brush and letting it do all the work for us but not pressing so hard that we're going to lose all that gray primer I don't want to lose it yet I want to work on it from there and you see we're still just trying to keep a little bit of that detail not too much just enough Jason I'm scared of random noises I'm sure you're scared of your own shadow weighing all of about 120 and I think you were wet that day <laughs> well that's right it did rain that day So again, all I did was just take a little and, and I can work from here because we're not really trying to make this white, you know, we're not, we're not trying to overcome, overcome the model yet. <laughs> we're just kind of working with it. Now the lion may be another, uh, uh, an additional video. I don't know. We'll, we, we have to see how well we go about things today but we'll see where we get it and he's got he's got some special parts here so you want to get those here yes they put them in there and if I was the survivors I'd be a little scared because it is definitely a male lion and they're a little tougher <laughs> Uh, my wife just sh shrugged and was like, Rob's not wrong. <laughs> Great. <a couple. laughs> Dude, you never had a chance. And I'm talking about at birth. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to my, now you see how I'm just, I'm letting this flow. Now, a lot of people would have just let this go and go, hmm, yeah, white lion works for me nah 
that. We, 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 want, we want to do some more stuff with this. We want This is such a beautiful set. We really want to try to highlight some of the things. And it's just, how simple was it? A dark gray, oops, come on. A dark gray into, into just a nice dry brush and boom, there you go. Uh, ah yes, the special parts. Uh, you can knock them off again. Yes, I do have a pair of clippers and I could go vet on this guy, but I just don't want to. I used putty for those gaps. Uh, those gaps were brutal. Yeah, some of the gaps are brutal. I just didn't, I decided to just fill up some of the real obvious ones. And I didn't really go crazy because this is just one line that I have. And I have one more that I'm going to try and do a few other things with that I'm kind of curious about. Hopefully I can get my hands on the Lion God, which I'm working on. And there we go. Put some googly eyes on that boy, boy and call it a day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are definitely going to play into this. And I just dropped down my headpiece. And yeah, I've got an idea for that. I'm just going to have to be real careful. The thing that we do want to bring out is we want to bring out his mouth, his teeth. But we do want to work on this mane here a little bit. And we will. So just stick with me. And we're going to put him aside for now. I'm going to let him dry a bit. But you can see there wasn't really a lot to that. You, that that right there, and if you did the base, boom. You can see I still got some of the green stuff there. Um, and the base, I mean, that's easily playable enough to get it onto the field. But we want to do a little bit more. You know we do. Come on now. Now, let's see here. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to take... Some of that Kessel Fesh and put another layer on, uh, just lightly and just clean up some areas. I think that was the last thing I had to do with these guys before we start highlighting them, because that's the that's the real hard part. <laughs> put some googly eyes on the other parts. Yes, the most professional painting video you'll ever see. What will you learn? Nothing. <laughs> nothing this lamp I'm looking at going at a deep bronze and then bringing out the light parts um, the stone there I'm actually thinking of a din a scaven blight dinge so very dark gray for the stone and we'll work on that later right now we're just working on trying to get a good balance between the flesh and everything else so Kessel flesh we have right here and we're going to need a little bit of a thinner brush. And let's go into our cave here. And we've got ourselves a, oh, a Master Touch brush that you can get at Hobby Lobby for about three bucks. And it's not going to break you. All right. So let's start with uh, Chicky Poo here. And we're just going to take. Just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is lower the lumbizer here. And all I want to do is make sure that I kind of got everything I needed to and worked out that gray because that gray was very strong. But I felt strong about the gray as a primer. I didn't want to go black because we probably would take another week in getting that out. And all I'm doing is just because we're going to put, we're going to go very, you know, very strong. And uh, there we go. Get a little water on there. You want to thin this. You definitely want to thin this and put some light coats on here. But you want to make sure that you get over that gray. And you see that, and we're going to end up putting a wash on this so we're going to go over it I just want to make sure because I made a mistake somewhere there it is and you're going to make mistakes I don't care who you are there we go and this girl here has a little brown on her nose because I made a mistake let's see if we can bring that in there 
Yeah, and she must know Jason because she's a real brown noser. There we go, and we're going to get that out of there. And we want to get the gray off up over there. And we just want to kind of get this working in here a little bit because our next move is to go wash. And we want to go and bring that wash in there. I want to make sure that I don't mind getting enough on that stone. Matter of fact, I don't mind covering the doggone stone. Boy, I don't know. You know, I wonder if I should just go to auto. Okay, hold on here. There we go. Or should I go back out a little bit? There we go. I think that'll help us just a little bit more. Uh, use the dip method to highlight minis. Do you at all recommend? I don't, I don't like, I don't like the dip method. I, I'm not a fan of it. I'd rather put in my work and just move it around the way I want to put my highlights in. I just, for me, it works that way. Everybody's different. Everybody does things differently. And that's why we have so many unique type of things going on now these guys I went with a lighter hair especially this dude I mean this guy is just majestic but they all die the same don't they now we're just gonna touch that area in there I want to get around the shoulders make sure I got his hand real good because there's nothing worse than putting on a uh, where's that dot I put there okay there we go and having to do it any other way. Yeah, <laughs> Jason, Jason's target today. I feel so bad for his wife, though. I really do. She seems like such a nice lady. She really does. You know, everybody makes a mistake. I mean, what are you going to do? All right. And then this guy. This guy's just mad. I don't know what his problem is. He woke up in the middle of that that thing. and Wait till you guys see what I... Uh, there's going to be some videos coming this week. Now, I've got a couple really rough days of work. And I, I actually... Not around yesterday, because I was working so much. So I got a little sleep, and I didn't want to push this off anymore, because we do want to get this going. I want to get his forehead here. There we go. And then, just underfoot, like so. Get those calf muscles. I'm going to let those dry for a few seconds there. Now, I'm going to clean off this brush. This is where it's going to be a little. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. Let's just clean that brush off. Now, we're going to put some washes on here because we're going to start to highlight. But the problem, the problem is. Is, I'm, I'm reading Jason Miller's comment, boy. <laughs> and she has never gotten drunk again, Mark says. Oh, wow. What an elbow. But, um, again, um, like I'm, I'm trying to say, is I'm going to put the, bro the, the, the washes on with a different type of brush. Usually we just... We have just a fun time with washes and just pour them on. But we have to be very deliberate here. Okay? And very, very deliberate because there's there's so many different variations here. So we want to be very careful in what we're doing. Now, this guy here, we're going to start with him. And you're saying, wait a minute, he looks great. What are you doing? Don't do that. Don't. Don't put the wash on him. You're going to ruin him. That's right, I'm going to ruin him because we really want to pronounce certain areas. Now this guy is the guy that we are going to use a bigger brush with. And let's make sure, I don't think I clean that brush. Well, this is an old brush anyways. 
and I really, really enjoy painting. And um, you guys are going to see a lot of different things. Uh, this week's vlog is going to be kind of important because it's going to talk about um, you guys helping me. Well, actually, it's going to lead into the community question, and we just got a few ideas. I like to really go back to what we originally wanted to do. How much should you do loot and ink? Uh, depends on what the effect you are going for. I don't dilute because I, I paint in a way that I know exactly what kind of shade I'm going to get and how I'm going to use it. Um, but we're bringing back some more games. We're trying to get schedules so you guys know what to expect and just keep things nice and neat. But we'll talk about that at a later time. Right now, it's all about the Kingdom Death Monster. But our main thing is to do two goal, uh, two games, two painted games a week. And by doing that, I think something old, or, or that we've been meaning to get to, and then, of course, something new that had just come out. So let's see if we can get that to zoom in. Where's the dot? Okay, there's the dot. Okay, now I've got Newell Oil. Now you guys all seen me used it before and all I'm going to do is just really just work this in here and I want to be very deliberate in everything I do. Now you, you're probably saying what are you doing? You just you just dry brushed all that wonderful white in there for that monster and now you're darkening him up. That's right because I wanted to see how that gray was going to be effective. And I'm going to work this in here because we're going to do it again. Only this time we're going to make sure that the shade's in there. And, our, and we want to take that white and have that almost as an underneath kind of color that pops its head out just a little bit. And then when we come back and we dry brush again, now look, we're going to get in that mouth there, area there which is very important and you can see what we're doing here and how we're doing this Gretchen told me I have to tell you all that her birthday is Tuesday and that she deserves all the gifts well let me tell you something yes she does everyone matter of fact I'm going to try the stream on Tuesday and we're gonna call it Gretchen's birthday stream if you don't think I'll do it you better watch out Leland mark it down Mark it down. We are going to stream on Tuesday, and we are going to call it Gretchen's official birthday stream. And what we're going to do is we're all going to wear black. And I'm serious about this. And we're going to mourn poor Gretchen, who has to suffer another birthday with basically... I mean, is he human? But we are going to celebrate Gretchen's birthday. And Gretchen should get anything she wants. So she better make a bit big list. Because Amazon is easy to easy to call. <laughs> no and Jason, he's probably went out in the backyard and wrapped a rock. I picked this one especially for you. Alright, let's get the boys underneath here a little bit. Oh, there we go. I mean, geez, I mean, if you're going to detail it, detail it. <laughs> right? I thought Leland was fired. <laughs> Leland gets fired about three times a day. That's his job. <laughs> That's one of his jobs. And there we go. And we are just... And you can just see all I'm doing is moving this wash because I really don't want it to pull. Just have Justin take her out. Hmm. Of course, you know, the norm around here is when I go live on a stream that the dogs all of a sudden have to go to the bathroom. I don't know if it is because they just don't like when I talk a lot or what. Now, you see what we have here and how I'm trying to move this around? And what I'm trying to do here is, and if you look at his face, uh, I, I swear that... That lion just winced. <laughs> oh, God. I know the game is M.A., but boy. 
Even the paint job is. <laughs> and I'm just moving this around. If it pulls up, that's all right. We can always uh, take care of it later. But all I'm doing is just really just kind of moving this around. And this is giving me an effect that I wanted to test and figure out because it's going to carry over to our survivors. And I'll explain my train of thought and how you guys can possibly handle how you want to do it. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to let him dry. All right. It's nice and dark. That's okay, but we're going to bring him back out. But he has to dry, unfortunately. Rob, you and the lion are now mated for life. Yeah, there we go. He'll follow me around wherever I go. <laughs> Boy. Here we are, thinking we're teaching somebody. We're just teaching somebody not to turn this channel on. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put that there. And we're going to wash out this brush. And voila. Here we go. And we get that all nice and cleaned off. Perfect. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we're going to leave the new oil here. But this is where I was talking that we have to be very, very selective in how we do things. And very careful. This is kind of... I just want to clean this off a little bit better. I'm sorry. They may be cheap brushes, but they're not cheap to me. <laughs> now, I'm going to take this wash. I'm going to use a brush like this, but I'm really going... The, the, the key point here, I tell you, it takes stones to paint that way. Don't make that lion upset. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. What a crew. What a crew. So what we do is we don't want to get this on her skin. Now, here's the way I see it. They wake up. They they don't have clean linens. They're, I mean, there's just no way. How you doing, Redwell? And by the way, ha hello to everybody. Uh, forgive me for not mm -hmm. saying hello to everybody. Uh, you'll see what what the difference is with glaze soon enough, mm -hmm. um, Dave. It, it, it actually brings things out. Um, a glaze is, is kind of like for jewels and stuff like that. All right. Did they go? Maybe they saw me painting the underbelly of the, the lion. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this new oil and we are going to really kind of just work it in here. And we're going to dirty up their linen. And there's a reason for this. Because, let's face it, they're going to wake up in this this strange plane, okay? Uh, you know, they just didn't come from the um, laundromat, okay? They're going to... They're going to... And I'm being very deliberate because I don't want to get this on the skin. But you see what this is doing. This is going right into the recesses like I want. And anybody can do this. That's the beauty part. And it's not going to take you very long. You can paint these up. And have this game on the table. Put it together. Now, see, I made a little mistake there, but that's okay because it's not going to matter. It really isn't because I'm going to show you later on what we're going to do and how we're going to fix that, too. And the problem is, is if I put my dumb headset on, maybe I can see what the heck I'm doing. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, insert 900 uh, old man jokes here. Uh... Or maybe you'll just sit quiet, which will be shocking. All right, let's push these glasses up. I I intentionally made some Harry Carey glass glasses uh videos too, so be ready for them. You'll you'll see them sooner than later. All right, just moving, and this is where you really don't mind taking your time, moving wash around and as you can see we've dirtied that up but we're not going to leave it that way it's not going to look linen the linen isn't the only thing getting dirty here <laughs> oh boy let me see what are we looking okay there we go and that's what we're going for but we don't want to leave any of it extremely white that'll look kind of weird so we want to make sure that we 
Yeah, go ahead, insert joke. There we go, all right. And we're gonna do that with the rest of our survivors. So let's just do it up and then at a time, there we go. Just wanna be very careful in what we do. You can get a little on the skin, that's okay because you're gonna be putting the other stuff over there, but we're also gonna be lightening this up too and giving it some some form here. So we just wanna make sure that we get all these areas here and just have some fun here with this. There we go. You know, the key is, is the washes are the things that take the longest to dry because they're so water-based. And when you're doing this in the summer, it goes pretty quickly, but in the winter, everything slows down. Winter slow, summer fast. There we go, and just work that there. And there's a little spot there, and there we go. And we've got we've got some survivors working here. There we go. And that settled in there nice. You can see how it just settles into those creases so nicely. And we want to we want to get that definition and bring that out. Now this guy, the way he walks around, I don't think he should ever be dirty. Static display, how are you? Rob, will you be doing highlights uh, with lantern uh, doing highlight highlights with lantern light? No, and I'll tell you why I'm not going to do it. I mean, I can do it, but I think it's I think it's kind of um, I'm really trying to ta tailor this to the person that went out and paid four hundred dollars for this game, never modeled, but is just so is is a heavy role player, but does want to paint his guys, and I think that's the way to do this because there's so many ways. Uh, there's so many people that have done lantern light, and they've done it fantastically and I just I think I'll just be mimicking everything that they do basically for me what I'm thinking uh, here in my train of thought is to get these things painted the easiest and quickest way so you can get it to the board because you know if you were just buying this game just for the models well then you probably wouldn't buy Kingdom Death Monster. Not that the models aren't the best in the world, but you probably would go to a model store and just buy a model. <laughs> what you're doing is you are buying the full experience here. And so how can you utilize all of it and get it quickly and experience the RPG part of this masterpiece? This is a game that as I've read and started to you know, some people have a strong opinion on what this game is. It's dark, it's foreboding, and there's a lot of weird decisions. But the way I read it, these guys saw this as, this is more about the human condition. Who, what goes on inside of here? There's lust, there's greed, there's selfishness, there's self-preservation, and all these things. And all you are is this right here at the beginning of the game. Now, how you get anywhere else really depends on you and the decisions that you make and how you survive. It's about survival of the fittest, which is one of the most primal, primal thoughts inside, yep, the head. Uh, I am intrigued by the game, but never owned it. It's too expensive. Exactly. Rhonda, how are you? Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. All right. This guy here. This is, this is, this is the bowl of the woods here. Is that one guy that's going to be the man. And that's our friend here. So let's get him all prepped up and ready. Because you know he wants to crack some skull. Now, I'm really looking forward to doing, and we're going to play this all the way through. And, you know, we may take it uh, and, and do it every other week. 
so we can fit other things in but this is definitely something that and that's some of the plans that I have going forward is everything that I wanted to do last year I'm gonna make sure that I get done this year times two and by doing that it's just being smart and utilizing our time correctly we want to play a whole thing with uh, shadows of brimstone we want to experience and take a look at newer games or older games or things that you guys haven't seen or something maybe miniature market may have came across and said hey Rob can you take a look at this yeah or a Kickstarter that might be very interesting to us well we're gonna do it all there we go there we go and just taking a little bit of that wash I'm just working it in there. Okay, so now we're going to close up this wash. And we're going to put this guy aside. And we're going to let them dry for a few minutes. But that doesn't mean that we can... Hey guys, I hope you get pretty far in your first campaign. I may and I may not, but the best thing is that we can go back. Folklore Affliction, that's something I could afford at the moment. Well, guess what? That's on my list of one of the things that I have to go back and do. And we're going to paint that. Um, you're going to see some videos uh, uh, of, of some of the new stuff that you may not have known that we're going to be painting. We're, we're going to show you how to do a lot of things this year. This, and, and so far, we're off to a pretty good start. Just keeping our heads and just staying dialed in. Okay. Oops. Wrong one. Reichland Flesh Shade is a home run no matter how you look at it. We need to make a Deadpool for Rob's game, by the way. How many of his survivors <laughs> will die before he finishes? <laughs> Let's get to the game, and then we'll, we'll start the Deadpool with the very first one. Can we have an update on the lion? Sure. How you doing, fellas? I'm right here, and I'm drawing very well. How are you? Um, let me show you off a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to spin around here just so you guys can see... And get an update. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, everything seems to be going well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm plastic. I don't know what days it is. There you go. Update from the lion. Boy, nobody's going to use this for a tutorial. <laughs> I crash and burn my first two campaigns. Yeah, I probably will. But that's the fun of it. See, I like that kind of stuff. I Sometimes I think I laugh more at crashing and burning than I do anything else. Now you see how dark he got with that wash. And I think that's that's exactly what we're going to do. And, and, and we're going to lead into something here. And I think you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Let's start with... Who did we paint for? Oh, this girl here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a Reichland Flesh Shade. And you know what time it is in our video. It is time to drink. There we go. Good girls. So now we, we want to be very deliberate with our Flesh Shade. All right? And be very careful. As you hear, which one are you? Hi, Bella. We're just going to get our wash in here. And we're trying to be very careful with it. Because we don't want it to leak too much into the black here. So we can go up into the hair and just use that to kind of store it. And as you can see, I want to get over into her abdomen and other areas. And... I'm going to work a little bit in there. I'm trying to keep this PG in case some kids are watching. But, you know, we're constantly just trying to just get. And the flesh shade is good, but I almost kind of like going a little bit darker with the Agrath Earth shade, which we can come back with. And we're just gonna hit that in there a little bit, and if it mixes with the with the black, that's okay. 
So we're darkening her up a bit. Because after all, you woke up, you really don't have a lot on, and all you have is this piece of stone. <laughs> now you see how that flesh, the flesh shade, uh, the Reichlin just really got nice where we want it. There we go. That's exactly what we're doing. Hey, Dutch, thank you. Uh, out of the blue and into the black. Those are naughty. Oh, God. Do you ever get around to painting Wasteland Express? No, I have not. I will, though. I can trust you. You can trust me on that. Next, we're going to go into this girl here. And we're going to start working. Because we really want to kind of get this kind of dry here. But while it's drying, we're going to work on that lantern a little bit. And I just got a, a couple ideas with that little lantern. There we go. And I think I have the right material for it. I have to look. And we're just going to get that into her face, into her hair. It's okay because it's we can move it around so it doesn't pool. But the most important thing is just getting it where we need to get it. And I'll show you how we're going to do her, the bottom base too. We're going to bring that to life too. That's a little bit of project. Well, you know what, Leland? You should have made this part one. Ugh. But I think uh, Saturday night we might do part two and then play on Sunday. After all, it's a long weekend. I might play on Monday. There we go. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The only reason this takes a little while is because the washes. That is the only reason this is going to take a bit. But I think we... Nah, you know what? I might be able to do it tonight. Let's see. We'll go as long as I can go. If you guys don't mind watching, there you go. And thank you, Dutch. I really appreciate that. All right. Yeah, I gotta. Fa I gotta. I gotta try to get a ticket to Origins. I gotta get a press pass. I don't even know where to get that. That ought to be a disaster trying to do everything for myself for the first time. And we're gonna take a little bit more and get on the back end here. There we go. All right, that's her. And let's get to the big guys here. And then we're gonna. We're gonna see how Mr. Lion's doing here. Yeah, he's drying really quickly. Very good. All right. No weird voices this time. All right. Now this, you'll be able to see how this flesh shade really works because we are going to really just kind of work it into him. There we go. I'm going to sit there and pose like your SD Lauder. There we go. And we'll run it through his hair. Doesn't matter. But we do want to get that detail. There's a lot of detail on here. On these models. And I started going through those sprues and I'm like, wow. This is going to be a project and a half. But that's the beauty of it. It's worth the payoff. That's what you want, is the grand payoff. And you will get it. There is no disappointment here. And let's go down the leg here. Notice how I'm just really just being very deliberate on where this goes. And just really taking my time. Again, we're not going for... You know, we're not trying to win any awards. We're trying to play a game. And that's what I'm trying to do, is trying to show you how to do this very simply, very quickly, so you can get this and move this flesh shade around so you can get this down on the table and play Kingdom Death Monster because that's what you really want to do, dude. You want to play this game. 
and sing its praises. All right, there we go. Uh, did you grab a lot of KDM expansion minis? No, I did not. Um, I'm planning on it um, as they come available. I didn't even expect this. If it wasn't for our wonderful, fantastic, awesome community. Now, you see how this flesh shade works? See how it just, now it brings out all those, those muscles. Really just does a wonderful job. And you can just see how his face comes alive now. Just by... A simple stroke of the brush you don't want to work too hard for this you want to get a quick get a quick result and it'll inspire you to keep on going and you'll say you know something maybe I'll try to paint that next game and that's what you look to do that's what you're always looking to do what's next I I got through that that was fun Rob showed me the easy way to do it what's next and that's what we're looking for just taking really dark and remember these guys this is all they have on so the sun is like if there is any sun is blazing i know there's fields and stuff like that and i'm gonna i'm gonna pimp this out because i'm gonna uh, i saw that it has walls so i went and i got some of that tiny terrain stuff and we're going to replace those board walls with tiny terrain so it really looks cool on that board I think it will and let's get his toes I mean you gotta get the guy's toes come on now alright move it around but this isn't the last we're gonna see these guys there we go you see that wash really gets in those recesses and really does a nice job Rob, have you checked out Sarast uh, or whoever uh, painting videos? Got me back into the hobby. I heard he's very good. I don't watch his stuff. Um, uh, it's, you know, honestly, I just don't watch his stuff. He, uh, I, 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 I think he's excellent. He's a great painter. And I, and I hope someday that, you know, we get to meet, you know, in the field here. But, um, I mean, as far as watching his videos, nah. I, I basically just, I do things from my own. I, mean, I, I just don't, you know, be, especially having my own channel here. You know, if you see something, you end up kind of, maybe you pick up on somebody else's things or something like that. And I, I don't want to do that. Even though I think he's probably one of the best painters in the world, that's for sure. I mean, there's, a, there's so many greats out there when you start thinking of Jay Aiden and and some of the other people out there um you know you can go on dr foss or whatever i don't watch them but i admire them all i only do things the way i do things because i believe that there's a lot of you out there that want to do this so i try to simplify it so you guys can do it keep it simple keep it fun and then you'll always keep on doing it if you make it too hard and it becomes a job then you're never going to want to do it Next time, hit us up. That is what the community's for. Uh, going to try to wash. Okay, let me see if I'm missing anything. Of, if all goes well, Green Horde will drop at the door in February. Can't wait to start painting that. Either can I, my good friend. Dr. Foss is, is fun to watch. Yeah, I heard he's very good. I just don't watch. It was, I, I, you guys, listen. Here's the thing I did. I've done so far 1500 videos in two and a half years. Okay. Think of the, think of the logistics with that. Okay. That's quite a bit. Work a full-time job, take care of the family, pets and all that other stuff. So I really don't have a ton of time to watch videos, but I do make a lot of videos and I, and, I, and my objective this year is to make 600 videos for the year. Okay, uh, we're going to go over 2,000 videos this year. So I'm going to do everything in my power to do such. So watching everybody else do it, just don't have time. <laughs> uh, 
like I said, the best thing I can do is a person that never picked up a brush goes out and pick one, picks ones up. Then I have done a great job and I've done justice to you all. All right, let's think. Where do we want to go here? All right, so Mr. Lion here. Let's get you back into the picture. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like I said, you know, when I did get a chance to check people out, I admire what they do and and the things that they do. But, you know, trying to do this live is not the easiest thing, so I try to be different and do it live. I also try to just be different. And unfortunately, I just don't have time. I really don't know how you find the time for your vids, especially with a full-time job. Well, I, you know, it's 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 a passion, and and it's something that I enjoy when I come home. And believe me, you know, we have wonderful sponsors, and they expect me to do a certain amount of things. So we try to do those things, and we try to do them well. I wonder if I should just let this sit for a little while. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. And should I paint the base? <clears throat> yeah, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to change up just for a second here. And there's a reason for it. I just want to give it a little more time to dry. What's the matter, Memes? Okay. We're going to go with an Agrath Urshade. Now, the reason we're going to go with that is we are just going to very quickly get this done so it dries, hopefully, quickly. Um, I want to really darken up our our stone or bone faces and stuff you know I want them to go like yeah exactly and you can see oh my god come on there we go and we're just gonna get that in there and I really I'm just gonna move around what I have here we get it on our feet it doesn't matter but the point here is, is to really start to bring out what these are. And they're all faces. Which is just kind of creepy all in all. Oops, almost dropped that. And you want that to wash to really, really kind of get in those eye sockets. So this whole base thing really becomes super creepy. I mean, they're walking on the faces of the dead. And there we go. Now, you could have probably used the Agrath, a darker shade, to um, to actually... Oh, let's just pull that out a little bit. Get in here. There we go. Because it's pretty much almost the same type of wash as the Reichland. It's just a little darker. And... There we go, and we're just going to move that around the bases. We want to darken everything up because we're going to bring it out. Remember, inks darken, dry brush lightens. Sometimes it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, your vols, a e i o u, and sometimes y. There we go. We're going to do the same thing here. Alright, I'm missing something here. You guys are talking about something. Alright, there we go. So now, again, I mean, look at this guy. This guy is just, he's too much. It's like he's walking on. He thinks he's too good to be in this game. I have a feeling he's going to be the first one to die. I heard your whole survivor camp can, like, die within the first five seconds. <laughs> Gotta love a game that that you just, uh, yeah, that's it, over. I always enjoy those type of games because it's more real life. It teaches you more things. 
If you you know, if they make it too easy and you just win every time, what's the point? Really, what's the point? A man here. All right, let's get your base all jacked up. And there we go. And we're just moving that around, getting all those faces to really stand out. Look. That'd be creepy. There we go. All right. It took an extra few seconds, but it was worth it just to get it done. They do say don't get attached to your characters. Well, that's the beauty of it. You get a cat attached and they die. We laugh at Rob. That mini is six inches tall. Armor seven, four survivors. Uh, armor sets are f is four survivors. Oh, boy. I wish I knew what everybody was talking about, but it's kind of hard to paint and pay attention to chat at the same time sometimes. Dangerous games are the best. That's why I love D&D. First and second edition. I agree with you, Carlos. If it's not dangerous, what are you playing it for? If there's no risk. I mean, you put all that time into making a character and then you just get smushed. That's cool. That, Craig, I do not know because we are going to experience it as we go. Okay, so here's the thing. I am going to take the white here and we're going to go with a very very bright white I'm going to try to take as much of this off as I can because I really really want to go easy here until I figure out what is the good balance here so as always I always tell you but but you know I always tell you to test on the bottom here but look these even the bottom of these things are cool Ugh. So there we go. So again, nice. And I'll take that a little bit more off. There's an old junky brush. And I'm just hitting this ever so lightly. I don't want to hit it too hard. I don't want to lose that wash. I don't want to lose the detail that I've just created. But I do want to make this a white lion. Now look at how the ribs are now starting to stand out. And his his muscle tone just is kind of working there. Look at that. And then we can come up into the face and his cheekbones. And just, they can just come across. His brow. He's like, are you going to do my undercarriage? I go, yes, I am. Now he's starting to grimace. And just, you see what I'm doing here? I'm really just working. If it's a white lion, okay, that's fine, but nothing is totally white. Look at that. Let's put a little bit more on there. As we're working our boy here. Gretchen tells me less is more, but I know she's just sparing my feelings. Uh, marriage is a dangerous game, too. <laughs> Big Bang, how are you? Inedible, how are you? It's good to see everybody. Whoa, hey, see, I got all excited. All right really taking this off you'll know you'll feel it but the, the the thing is if you if you're doing this for the first time take your time and just really make sure that you have complete and utter control here and by doing that it's just doing things lightly don't you don't have to press down hard to paint like on the back area here follow Follow him. Look for an area. Look for the high points. Pull out from the high points. And just really just kind of 
Just take your time. Take your time. That's all we're trying to do here. We want to bring out everything that this lion has to offer. <laughs> yes. Take care of everything this lion has to offer. And just nice and easy. And just move that brush around. Really, really. There we go. Let's get that undercarriage, says Jason. No, well, I think we're doing a pretty good job again. There we go. Now, do you see how, see how the ribs and the good muscle tone that we've created there? Okay, and that's by just taking that gray undercoat and not totally getting rid of it. Remember, we went. We. <laughs> He's got to stop making me laugh. <laughs> uh, how are you, Kabuki? Now, you take a look. We went gray underneath, okay, with our, our primer. That was half the battle. Next thing we do is we just kind of dry brush very lightly over the gray so we see where the detail is. Very lightly, if you noticed. Mm -hmm. Then we put our wash in. Now, our wash sits in there and really sits on the recesses, so we have that grayish grayish black um, uh, new oil working here and for this particular model it really stands out and it works and it works a little, very well and and just trying to keep the detail in here look how beautiful his mane is and how, how much you know structure you have there just working that tail I mean look at those those are perfect absolutely perfect midnight here going to have to call it soon we'll catch up later thanks rob never dull moment you're welcome mel thanks for watching <clears throat> so what we're trying to do here is really we want everybody to know that this is a male lion and that's what we're doing here we're just taking our time with it too and you could tell that he's just he means business all right there we go that skin looks pretty good well, we got to bring out a little bit more he's just not all that he's not a ghost he's not a ghost Mel thank you so much all right there we go. What we really want to do, and let me see if I can find the right brush to do it, is we're going to turn him blue now. No, I'm kidding. Because I've never seen a blue lion. Come on, Kabuki, you know where that's from. I painted, I painted the lion blue because I've never seen a blue lion. Helping me. Okay, so I want to make sure I got a good point here. And here's what we're going to do. I think if we just do this right, and I'm just going to put a little here and just turn it, turn it, turn it. You can't see, unfortunately, because I've got it focused in there. But I've got to put on the thing here. And I just think blue-eyed lion is just something that stands out. Do you ever see their eyes when sometimes in those National Geographic pictures where they just look at you? And it just, it's almost like they're looking through you. And you say, my God, how can something so ferocious be so beautiful? And that's what we want. All right. You haven't seen the new Kickstarter, D-W-A-R? 
Uh, no, I have not. I really don't keep up on a lot of things because I'm so busy trying to catch up with everything. <laughs> All right. Next thing I want to do here is I want to bring his teeth in. Well, no, I think we're going to... Hmm, hold on here. Yeah. I wonder if that would be good for his tongue. Well, let's let's see, because we can always cover it up. Right, we're just gonna take a we're gonna take some evil sun red, and we're just gonna go lightly over his tongue. I just hope it's not too powerful. And he's got his tongue in there. No, that's exactly what I want to do. I know it looks a little powerful right now, but you watch. This is just a base coat. And this is to kind of get rid of the gray a little bit. So I can come in there with what's next. We're going to let that dry. There we go. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take some Emperor's Children and go over that. And really kind of make it more pink. Red Eye would make the lion an albino. Yes, there you go. But the tongue here, I just wanted to take away. This is just a base coat. There we go. Why don't we give him some teeth while we're on it, huh? I mean, he's got teeth there. And since he chews on things, I'm sure he doesn't have time to go to the dentist. Well, we could do that afterwards because we might get a little dangerous, but I think a good Yushabi bone would be nice for his teeth. All right, Michael, thank you so much. And Maddie and Kabuki and Steve, good to see you. Five minutes, part in midnight here in the UK. I'm watching. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate having you here. And we're trying to get this ready so we can get it to the table. And we're going to do the base and everything. And I'm just going to kind of... And the reason I'm going to go with this... Actually, I, there we go. We're going to go with a Yushabi bone because his teeth aren't going to be exactly white. But we are going to, because he does eat a lot of people, we're going to... I'm going to try to make that stand out a little bit. That part of him might have a nice little white overtone to him. Alright, just want to get on the insides there. And you can see that that brings a little bit more brings a little bit more realism to him. You see what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so we're going to put him aside for now. There we go. And I'm going to clean off this brush. Now we're going to start working on some of the things that we want to work. Now, while these guys are drying with their... And you can see that, that that's really starting to really look pretty nice there. Yeah, that lion has gingivite. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna get that stone done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out a Skaven Bright Dinge. And there's a reason for that. So everybody that's got a stone, we're gonna work on that a little bit. And this will be pretty quick. And then we're going to go right into the lantern. And then you'll see what I have for an idea for this lantern. So I'm just going to kind of bring that stone out a little bit. I want to just... Oh boy. There we go. Put that down there. There we go. A little bit of water does it. A lot of good. And I just want that to be kind of dark for now because we will lighten that up and I'll 
when we go to lighten up their dress or her dress and her clothing you'll see what we're getting at there we go you see this all comes together pretty quickly it's not that hard it's not that hard any of you can do it rob paint a nipple oh come on that's why you're the only troll here no wonder why everybody wants your job everybody wants the new troll everybody wants to be the new troll but there's only one troll all right so there we go all right so here we just got to be very careful we don't want to cover up her hand we want to get underneath and as you can see that's still drying in there pretty good for her but the clothing is starting to come through so that's good uh, we might be able to get a chance to take care of that yeah believe it or not the humans are probably the ones that are, are gonna take the longest to do <laughs> It's only because you really, you know, especially when you have such a beautiful set like this, you really want to take your time. And I wouldn't have had it if it wasn't for all my wonderful community. And that's why we're really going to pay attention to detail to some degree. Like I said, I always want to paint things and, and stay in the theme of the channel, which is anybody can do it. So let me show you how. And let me show you how you can mess up, too. You know? We always like, you know, just keeping it the way we always believe and just do the things that we do. Uh, it did gap, but I used some green putty. And I'll, I'll be teaching everybody how to do that. It gapped a little bit. I mean, it wasn't that horrible. Again, you know, it is what it is. But we were able to take some green stuff and and put it in there and and fix a majority of the gaps and really get it to stand out and there we go get that other stone in there all right hmm so we got the stones <laughs> we got those all painted up and, and we're, we're, we're just really just just doing what we got to do now, here's where I've got to take a second, guys, and just look to see if I have what I think I have. If I do, what time is it? Oh, we're not doing too bad. Yeah, just under an hour. We're doing pretty good. Uh, oh, where did I put that other piece there? Oh, here we go got these things here where I keep everything so just bear with me I'll know when I see it I'll know when I see it because I'm almost positive I have it I'm looking for a glade up oh, there it is that's exactly what I'm looking for I want to pull out the laminate yeah the lamp <laughs> Laminators yellow, so we need to bring that out. Now, somebody had asked about a glaze. I believe it was David Villa, our good friend, friend of the channel, and we want to make sure that we get exactly what we were looking for. So, I'm going to show you a, a simple way to do these. But first, we have to paint that lantern and let it dry for a bit. We can go back to other things. Now, there's a couple. Of, Lanterns are basically, you can make them black, you can make them bronze, or warps. I think a warp lock bronze would be kind of stand out, kind of primitive. With some nice lice on there. It's been a while since we've been able to tune in House Cthulhu Kitty. Um, she was doing better and lately she is just throwing up all the time so we're very concerned about her so hopefully we can get through this and she'll be okay we'll see you know we've been through with pets this year it's been a bit much just to be honest all right 
Let me just shake this up. I always shake a metal really, really well. James Brazil, what's up? We'll watch from the start later. Yeah, you're going to miss all the good jokes. All right, shake that up real well. All right, and you can see how this is all coming together. And it's really just going to really, really just work. All right. So we're going to take uh, Mr. Stuckup's lamp here. And all I'm going to do is just cover the whole thing. I'm not worried about it right now. I just want to get it painted. And you'll see what I'm going to do with it sooner than later. Because it's going to come in when I start doing these these robes a little bit. All right. I'm going to put him over there. Let him dry. Young lady, do you have a lamp? Yes, you do. Well, let me help you out. And we're going to make... I just like the metallic of, of, of doing a lamp that way. Because pretty much, if you're going to be burning something in it, and of course it's going to be metal of some sort. It's not going to be paper mache. So all I'm looking to do is just kind of get this as the base and then we will work on the uh, luminescence there we go that's a big word for me huh uh, to, to really kind of stand out and I'll check the chat in a second so just bear with me and we're working these guys working these guys and we're going to paint this all the way through. So when we go to the next creature, and everybody, I guess everybody upgrades, and we got to paint four new survivors, which is really cool aspect of it. We will armor everybody accordingly, and we will put them together. I'll show you how to do it. We're I really want to be detailed with games, and give you know all those questions you might have, and just. Uh, really really be able to show it on screen instead of just playing the game and going well there you go that's the game we're going to take games and we're going to break them down in essence and what I mean by that is we're going to if it's a miniatures game you know we're going to show you how to put it together we're going to put it together then we're going to show you how to paint it and we're going to show you how to play it and we're going to go through all the scenarios. So you have a guide and you can say, boy, that didn't seem that much fun. What was wrong? Did I do something wrong? And you can watch how we screw it up. And then you'll realize that, yeah, you did it wrong. Because you did it the same way we did. All right, there we go. Come on, these guys are are getting there. And we, and we did this pretty fast. Come on now. Work with me here, folks. work with me here. I think by 8 o'clock we can be totally done with this. Well, because I'll still have to do some basing and stuff like that. That, you can't help. Alright, I'm going to check out the, cha uh, the, the uh, chat for a minute. We're just going to let these dry for a second. And I'm just going to put them here so you have something to look at instead of my ugly mug. And You'll see exactly what we're doing. Great part about chat after all, the chat is where the community lives, and that and BGG Guild. Well, there you go. Uh, Rob, do you always hold minis by the base when painting? Yeah, it's just, um, you could, yeah, I've seen people do it that way. For me, I just don't like it. I always like to feel it in my hands for some reason. It just helps me. I don't know what it is. It's 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 stupid actually, but for me, I just like to hold the base. Uh, he is not doing OSL. Rob wanted to do this for beginners. Yeah, I, 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 so many people do it. I really, um, I, I really just feel to to have people be able to do this, get good quality out of it, and and show them an easy way to put these together paint them and still have it where it looks nice and it's enjoyable that that's 
I think that's the best thing that we can do for the community and anybody that likes to watch. Uh, I sticky tack mine to an empty pill bottle. You shouldn't go into your wife's cabinet. I mean, all those poor sedatives she has to take to live with you and you're taking her pill bottles too. Um, when is the plan to continue the new Painting 101 series? I got Blood Rage and I am starting to be tempted to paint it. Uh, I'm going to be painting three copies of Blood Rage at the same time. Uh, it's a patron thing and I'm going to be doing it very, very soon. Quality is here. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, hey, whoever works, your paintwork is tremendous. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just got one of those holders too. And da, 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 da. okay, so let me see. There's a couple other things that we want to do. Um, oh boy. Oh, that's what I wanted to look for. All right, is it Emperor's Children? Or, hmm. or is it the other? Uh, Screamer Pink. Well, I think a nice little Emperor's Children in there would go nicely. It's a layer, but over the red, it'll give his tongue a little bit more um, what we're looking for. The game is also how to create survivor bands. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, there we go. All right. So we're going to shake this up a little bit. And we're going to take just a tiny touch of it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it on a little brush and I'm just going to kind of almost like take it off in a bit. See, I wonder if I should go. Oh, it's a little bit of a risk here. All right, let's move these guys out of the way while they're drying. And just kind of... Yeah, blend that in there. That's what I'm looking to do. While it's wet, just blend it in there a little bit. Take it off a little bit. Because we don't want it to be a total red tongue because it doesn't make sense. Nobody has a total red tongue unless they got a fever of some sort. So you see how that, that looks a little bit more natural as it blends in. And that's what we're going for. And that's what we wanted all along. Nice, natural look and feel to the tongue. All right. Now, if you really want to go and go above and beyond, We can take a little bit more of that Yushabi bone while we have it out. So we have it right here. We're going to shake that up a little bit. And we're going to get a little on this, this brush here. This brush seems to be doing all the work today. And if we want to, we can just kind of add a little bit of Yushabi bone. Now all of a sudden those claws look a little, little bit more menacing, don't you think? Because now all of a sudden we're, we're bringing them out and we're pronouncing them. And we're saying, uh, guys, this guy has some claws and that might be the main part of the game is that he does have claws. Or at least the beginning game. And he's got big teeth. Maybe we should go the other way. Survival, yes. Of the fittest, who knows. Alright. Now we're going to come over here and just give a little love to these. And now all of a sudden, you can see, you know, we did all that work on the skin and how it starts to pronounce itself now. Alright. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. Oh, don't forget those little tootsies over there. There we go. And you see how this all kind of stands out a little bit. And I didn't have to have a bad haircut or gloves on to do it either. There we go. Rob, do you have any teaching 
or help you with painting over the years is your skill self-taught I'm pretty much self-taught kitty paws has all the wrong anatomy huh okay uh, I look at them they were over okay you guys are talking about something else okay yeah we're giving them a pedicure isn't that cool usually I have to pay quite a bit of money to do this because the queen likes to have a pedicure every once in a while all right so let's let those dry excellent excellent now your shabby bone is going to come in very well here because we're going to um, we're going to dry brush over these and you can see just by me just doing that a little bit how that's going to really start bringing things out but that's going to dry quite a bit so we've got a while before we get there don't we all right let me see what else can we possibly do before we head off um, for today okay let's bring him over here and you know within a, within an hour and a half we we got quite a bit the human paw the lion paw is a human hand not a feline paw. oh i got you rob call your shows rob's fancy nails yeah there you go <laughs> you can get gift certificates for it too it's a little sticky let's see how this is all right perfect that's the way I want it. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to clean off this brush really, really well. We have to be really, really careful here. This is where really, really we have to, because if we put too much of it on there, we're going to, it's going to look very, very cloudy. So I want to take a white scar. I gotta find the right brush and it's gotta be just the right the right thickness and that's what's gonna get us home here and start to bring out things all right this might be able to do it it's a little small but I'd rather take my time with it and get it right than mess it up so we're gonna take a little bit of the white scar right out right out of the pot don't be shy and we are going to yep you got it we're going to get it into those bristles and really pull it off and is that a hair sticking out yeah there we go pull that hair out because that can be problems and we're just really gonna take our time again let's start with this girl here and just and just very very lightly uh, maybe I took too much off being uh, maybe not We don't want to take that wash off, but we do want to kind of bring this back up a bit. Not too much, but just a bit. Kind of like what we did with the lion, but not as pronounced. Not as pronounced. I'm going to work here again. Just try to take a bunch of this off. I'd rather have too little on here than too much. And just nice and easy over these areas. It's a brighter white. But I don't want to take too much. Now you could paint white lines in here too. But boy, that'd be some work. And you could just take your dry brushing skill that you have learned on this channel many a time and apply it. Like so. You see how that starts to lighten up? Now all of a sudden it's 
<laughs> Driver's Time Boys. Tim Roo. Uh, I didn't end up backing. Okay, you're talking about something else. So again, just really coming over the top here. And like I said, uh, you know, when we were talking earlier about some of the great talents out there. And there are great talents, and I admire all of them. They don't even know who I am, so... <laughs> I mean, that's how, I mean, they're just, they're the best in the business. And there's so many painting channels out there. But, you know, they do things a lot differently. And I just try to do things like this. Kind of give you a quick feel. I mean, look at that. That's not bad for just a five minute job. All right. Putting this girl together was not horrible. All right, we're going to put that aside for a bit. Now, Saturday, we're going to work on the skin a bit. And that show will be a lot quicker um, as we finish these guys up. And you could play these guys just the way they are right now, to be honest with you. But we're going to take it a little further. I want to show you how we're, what we're going to do with the faces when that dries. Because I just don't think we're going to have time today to do it. Uh, I wish I did. I just don't have time to pre-order or anything like that I just hope that you know these companies know I'm out there and and give me a chance to buy a copy from them <clears throat> or I have a miniature market hunted down for me and, and then we work something out to get it that way <coughs> again just working in this area taking your time and you can see it just now all of a sudden there's depth and that's what we really look for bringing out bringing this out no it's not clean but it's clean in spots I mean I don't know where they came from maybe they did try to clean it just really making this shine see how now all of a sudden it comes out and it's more alive and that's what we're really looking for. Yeah, we could just really work that brush in there. There we go. All right. Let's get a little bit more on here. So we get to the big boys here. <laughs> David Bourne. Uh... Uh, I'm saving and cramping my hands for a lost station and village attacks. I can't wait for either one of those to come out. That's the, both of those are just home runs to me. Uh, especially I, 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 I have, I haven't gotten it yet, but I've got a surprise that you guys are going to really get a kick out of and they want me to take a look at it. And I know what it is, and I talked about it at Gen Con, but um, it's finally going to go live on Kickstarter, and they would like me to preview it. So I will be more than happy to do so. I mean, look at that. Look how that nice, and just taking your time. It really starts to stand out. And we're gonna really gonna make these guys stand out. You can even go over the tops here if you wanted to. To test it. And you can use a skull white to bring out their their helmets there. Okay. And once again. I mean, we're about ready for a fight regardless. That's the way I see it. We're about ready for a fight. Four survivors against one white lion. How's it going to end? I don't know. I'll tell you, they're going to look good doing it. Going to look good do doing it. All right. And... See how I use the edge of the brush? You don't have to just 
dr you know drill it back and forth you can use the edge of the brush anything that you feel that you can just get the top layers and that's what you're looking to do you're just looking to hit edges and hit the light areas and and really not lose that wash that you worked so hard to put in there but really just enough to bring it out all right all right so now I think we have time enough to put in the lanterns how about that I'll try to do that uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> oh guys wait till you see what the patron has in store <laughs> it's gonna be a good year this year better than last year I'm determined of it all right how are we doing here oh we're only an hour 30 in all right perfect all right I would paint, but the wine got in the way. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to... We're going to get... We're going to get that white on there again. I'm going to show you why. But we're going straight on if this works the way I hope it works all right so we're going to paint in the lantern and oops got just a hair too much on there there we go and we're going to paint in here and I'm going to paint right in there and then right in here and all I'm doing is putting that white in there. And do the same thing over here. I could touch it up later on. That's not a problem. But I really want that white to be pronounced in there. Just like that. Alright. I'm going to come back and I'm going to go over it one more time and just kind of neaten it up. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Got to make sure that I don't put too much. Well, I mean, I, you kind of want to be as deadly close as you can. Okay. It's kind of difficult because we're going over metal. But we'll be fine and just taking your smaller brush and just fill in between those areas start in the middle and work yourself to what do I always tell you to the edge all right same thing here and then come around and just get back there Boom. And we'll come back to that one. You'll see what I'm. You'll see where we're getting at. And this is an easy way to do this, and it still gives you a nice effect. You want to come here, and then there, and then over here, and then down here. And then back here, and then here. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit there. Light does not deter anyone. Okay, again, I want to get that back area there. I would, sometimes they make areas where it's really hard to get at. There we go. And. There we go. Perfect. And 
first one's almost dry and then we come back and we'll do it again new color paint Helen's booze red <laughs> there you go Helen you just made it where now everybody thinks you're the boozer of the group we're gonna have to get a t-shirt Helen Helen's booze cruise so Talking to my good friend Dan King, who's going to a bunch of conventions this year. And him and I, my roommate, I like Dan. We might go to Origins together. We'll see. A great guy. <clears throat> Trying to decide which ones we're going to do this year. It's a hard decision, and I, I know I got a couple of weeks before I got to really start thinking about it because it, it all starts up again real soon. First thing we got to go to is St. Louis. Go see some of you guys. And right here, and you know what I forgot to do? Well, we're going to do that in a second here as soon as I finish this. Because we're going to let this dry really well, not too good, but I just want to go over this and make sure that it looks white. There we go. Thicker the white, the better the effect is going to be. And this is just an easy beginner way to do things. I mean,. The pros are going to throw light around because they can see it, you know? They have the visualization to do such. <clears throat> Chumps like me, we got to try to figure a way to give it to you the best way we can. And sometimes that's not that easy all the time. It's like anything else, you got to just have vision. All right, let's go here. And all well, this lantern's kind of can always paint over it and do it again, but it, it looks okay. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a second. I forgot to do something here. Oh God, who donated something? Oh Helen, Adam, thank you so much. That's five dollars. You could have got three bottles of Ripple for that. What are you doing? Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Jeez. Cutting into your wine money. <laughs> you know I'm just having fun with you. <laughs> okay, so. Here comes the onslaught from, from Jason. Okay, so. I wanted to take this color and take it off now okay there we go you're our chump <laughs> yeah I went there Kabuki <laughs> oh boy so the stone here I just want to kind of give it a little bit of you know the stone look and I forgot to do that while I had the white on there so we're just gonna go over that a little bit <laughs> thank you mad dog 2020 <laughs> get her more drunk so she donates more <laughs> yeah our new motto of 2018 we may not be the best channel in the world but boy we will get you hammered and empty your pockets <laughs> oh brother alright so as you can see I'm just putting a little just a little touch of white on that that stone to give that feel that it is stone probably could have used a gray with this but white will ju be just as good alright there we go alright so now MD equals booze but not wine <laughs> Milwaukee's be best <laughs> 
<laughs> Plus no two buck chuck for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was the point. Thus the company I am enjoying. I, I got high quality. Thus the company I, I am enjoying. Yeah, basically. You, you need the good liquor to get you quicker so you can enjoy some of our our esteemed panel that watches us paint <laughs> oh boy now you know why I do it live alright so now we've been talking about glazes glaze 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 thank you running wolf <laughs> all right so we're going to shake up this glaze and the way this glaze is going to look it's going to turn that yellow that white into yellow and really make it glow a bit it's a cheap way of doing the light thank you so much running wolf i can't thank you enough candy is dandy but like <laughs> there he goes oh god <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. What a crew. What a crew. Somebody's going to watch this back later and they're going to go, Yeah, I thought this was a painting video. Okay, so all we're doing is taking this glaze and we're putting it on and we're going to go over. And you can see now all of a sudden, Oh, voila, we have a glow. And that's why I wasn't too worried about how or or how it went on. You see how that glows out now? Whoops. See how that just that just pops just like that? That is a quick technique. That's the beauty of Games Workshop. They just they bring it home for you. And it and it really makes it sticks out out so you even if you're not in the lines, you have that illusion of the light really popping off there. All right, let's do another guy. That's why that light effect is nice, but it's it's very hard for a beginner to do that. And don't let anybody sell you on it either, because if you ruin your model, you're going to feel awful, and then you're going to lose confidence. Especially if it doesn't come out the way you see it, the way somebody else would do it. Here we go. See how that, that just... Yes. The glaze is better than a water. And, and the thing with the, the glaze is all you're doing is painting white. And it just... it The glaze goes over it and gives it that... That iridescence. I think that's the right word for it. There we go. And the glaze just goes over. And you're going, how do I get that effect? Well, it's glaze. It's always glaze. Now these guys... I mean, really, you could just play with them just the way they are right now. Maybe Saturday we'll come on and we'll finish them, or maybe I'll just save the big finish. Because we got to fix their skin a little bit. we got to kind of do the same thing that we did with, with the lion. Is, you know, we darkened it with the wash and just brightened it up. But, you know, I do like them kind of dark because they are kind of foreboding in that way. And if you wanted to, you could just take and draw a little glaze here if you wanted to do that light effect okay but I'm not going to do that you could you can use that light effect and, and kind of work it off off there if you wanted to all right oh boy you guys you guys are something else Jason, holy cow, I am putting words in this chat box. Jason, you're hammered. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. 
I'm surprised. Did the wife approve you uh, paying that five dollars? Am I going to have to mail that back to you? <laughs> violently ill. Oh God. Well then, don't drink. If you're violently ill. Okay. So here we go. Let's just take a look and let's see if we can kind of give you guys a feel of what's going on here. Um. Well, how about if I do this? I'm sorry, I was so paying attention to what I'm doing. I don't think that's that bad. Okay. And it was quick, easy to do. And I think um, from what you see, we have to just lighten up the, the basis a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll do that. We'll do it like a quick hit on, uh, on uh, Saturday. So we'll kind of show you how this product all goes together. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I had a blast doing it. It's always fun to spend some time with you guys and do things like this. Ugh. There we go. And just put this here and voila, there we go. Whoa, shut that off. Harry carry glasses. All right. Of course, now I can't see. <clears throat> All right. As you can see, this is not a hard job. It, it, <clears throat> you know, very simple, very, a lot of fun to do with a great result and just keeping it within your scope. You don't have to go absolutely crazy with it. As you can see, we were able to accomplish everything we want. We brought out detail and everything like that without having to, to line paint. And that's the whole idea of trying to, to give you guys a chance to do things by cutting the time and making it where you get a quick result. And that's what I try to do here at the channel. Not as great as the masters. The masters are, are the masters. Let them be the masters. But I'll always be the guy that paints for the everyday guy. Hmm, kind of like that. Cubs win, comes win. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to cut out. I've got a long day tomorrow. We've got three videos coming up tomorrow. Uh, a couple of miniature market ones and uh, something that I think you're really going to like. And then Saturday I've got a video and then maybe we'll do something live where um, <clears throat> maybe we'll finally get to do Charmin later. I'm not promising anything. Let's see how it goes. But definitely Friday, I mean Sunday, is going to be Kingdom Death Monster live. We're going to try it and we're going to learn it together. Thank you, Misfit. And, I'm, and you're very welcome. And you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I sure missed the hair and carry glasses. <laughs> they fit my face. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, guys. Thanks so much, and until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, and hope you enjoyed this.